All right, hey guys, so in a previous video, I've shown you my Aco Power 105 watt portable solar panel. Well, today we're gonna go over how I'm hardwiring it straight to the Jeep using a Blue Sea Systems 12 volt plug. And then we're mounting our charge controller right in the cab of the Jeep. And as you can see, photovoltaic is on and we're getting power. All right, before we get started, uh, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. If you're so inclined, go ahead and give these videos a share so they can really get out there. Share with your friends and your family. Help me beat YouTube's algorithm. Make sure you hit the notification bell, and as always, feel free to subscribe. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're gonna do is find a place to mount our charge controller. I've been thinking about this for a little bit, and you can see that I have these 3M VHB strips that I put on the back. And what I'm thinking is there's this area right below the steering column. If you remove this panel, you can see that there are four clips that hold this on two right there and then two right there and then right below our steering column there's this nice flat panel of metal and i'm thinking with our vhb that'll be a great surface to bond this to and we'll still have really easy access to check out our lights or change the settings on our charge controller and then our wires will be able to run out of the bottom very easily up the side and then through the firewall but before we mount our charge controller we're gonna have to run and hook up some wiring. So we just need to simply remove this panel. You can see I sort of push back on this portion and then that kind of lifts up this lip and then I can use my trim removal tool to sort of get that out of there. If you've never accessed this area on the driver's side of your Jeep before, you'll find this little hole. And what you'll find is that it's filled with uh, some like insulating type foam. And if you just take like a long screwdriver or some other type of long, uh, you know, pointy implement, you can easily clear that out. And then basically what I'm gonna do is run what is a coat hanger through you can see that I've already utilized it for some other wiring projects. And then I'm just gonna carefully, a little bit of finagling, and we just pull our wires straight through. All right, now that we have our four wires run through our firewall and back behind this plastic trim, we just need to hook them up to the corresponding locations on our charge controller. We have two power inlets from our solar panel and then we have two wires going back out to our battery. So you can see that I have the ends of my wires stripped and then I've triple checked just to make sure that these are our photovoltaic inlets from our quick disconnect in the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook those up real quick and we're gonna do these one by one just uh, so you know there's no possibility for a mishap. So we can see on our charge controller that we have our photovoltaic in, we have our battery in, and then we have a load out. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. Make sure that I get my positive and my positive and my negative and my negative. I'm going to very carefully insert the end of my wire. And I wanna say there is a special connector that you can put on the end of your wire for properly inserting it into a device like this. I just don't have that type of crimper and those type of connectors. Nice and tight, perfect. And you can see our negative. Very carefully. Same thing, just tighten her down. Not gonna lie, I did start this little tape ahead of time. These are really difficult to get off. And then I'm pretty much just gonna line this up with where I want it on this panel and then Bam, it here. I'm just gonna push down really hard for about the next minute or so. I'm gonna run these cables back behind and it'll be really nice and clean. Make sure that you can't see them behind the speaker grate. All right. 
you're wondering, I did wipe this down really well and made sure it was nice and clean so I'd have a good surface to bond to. Now that we have our panels cleaned up and everything wired to our charge controller, you can see that we have our wiring in this split loom going over to our battery and then I'll eventually zip tie that to the firewall up here. And then I have a, another split loom running down behind our and under our up down air and then kind of tucked away and you can sort of see what I have going right here. It's just ran all around the back and I'm gonna run it up to the front. Real quick, let's take a look at what exactly it is we're working with here. You can see that this is made by Blue C Systems. We have a 12 volt plug, and then we have a 12 volt inlet. It's normal, and then this has this little rubber gasket around the end, and it has what I would call an interference fit. So it's kind of difficult to get in there, but once it's in, it's not really coming out. So I really like that. And then we'll have to open this up and connect our corresponding wires. Also, we have this Blue C system 12 volt plug mount. I think it's gonna work pretty well. I wish it was a little bit uh, shorter or narrower, but uh, this will be fine the way it is. And then this I bought off of Amazon for a few dollars. And this is basically just a 12 volt plug end cap, just to help keep it a little bit more waterproof and weather tight. All right. And of course, uh, like I say, if you guys are interested in picking any of this up, I'll leave uh, Amazon links in the video description down below. All right. To get our wiring run, out to the front of our grill to where our 12 volt plug is going to be. We're going to fish it back behind the grill and then secure with some zip ties. So to do that, we're just going to need to remove these one, two, three, four, five, six plastic pins. To do that, you'll just need a flat head or a trim removal tool, preferably. It's going to need there. And then just pop those up and make sure you save them for later because we'll be replacing them when we put our grill back on. It's easier just to remove the bulb all by itself. Now that I have the grill off, I went ahead and secured our split loom with some zip ties. I'm gonna go ahead and trim those up in a little bit. And then what I'm thinking is I'm gonna mount this right about there. Yeah, I think it'll look really good. So what I've already gone ahead and done was I marked some holes with my punch and then real quick, I'm gonna drill some small pilot holes. Then we're gonna use the screws that were actually included with the kit and I'm gonna see how those work. And if not, uh, later I'll just switch them out with some small bolts, but I'm gonna let it ride for now. So let's get that done. It's actually very secure. It feels really tight. This is some really high density plastic, so it's a really nice fit. Yeah. I think that'll be perfect. Now that we have our terminal connectors on, we have our rubber cap, which please, if you do this, make sure to put this on first. You can get these connectors through there, but it's a pain in the butt. We have our lock nut. We're gonna simply feed our positive or negative through our mount, and you can see, I don't know how well you can tell, but there's a positive and a negative on this 12 volt plug. So we'll just simply Plug in our positive, then plug in our negative. And now we'll just secure this in place. Okay, so with our lock ring securely in place on back, we're gonna finagle our wiring cover over the back. All right, looks like we have pretty good fit there. And then we're gonna just run this split loom, 
Let's see if we need to trim any off the end. No, it looks like we're gonna be pretty good though. All right, and then very last, we'll secure this guy with a little zip tie. Okay, and I think we're good there. Now let's get this grill back on and uh, get this thing wired to the battery and call it a day. In this piece of split loom that I have running across the firewall, you can see here we have our negative coming out, which is gonna to go to our main post on our Genesis system. And then we have our positive, which is gonna to go to this main post. So real quick, let's get some ring terminal connectors on those ends, get things cleaned up with some uh, electrical tape and some more split loom, get things zip tied in place, and then uh, yeah, keep it going. So you can see here that uh, we got our wiring cleaned up pretty well. Uh, I put a piece of split loom off of our positive to our negative, cleaned up really well. We already have that bolted in place. Now we're gonna secure our positive. All right, so real quick, let's uh, go over how our plug works. That goes to our solar panels and then we'll uh, get everything plugged in and see if it works. So real quick guys, let's take a look at the 12 volt Blue C systems plug that we're gonna be using. So you can see that we repurposed our MC4 wires that used to go straight into our charge controller. And I know well you can see what's going on right there, but this whole thing basically comes apart. And then here's a diagram that kind of shows what's going on. Take it apart. And then you can see here that there are these positive and negative clamps, so you don't even have to solder if you don't want to. And then you just reassemble and you should be good to go. Yeah, just kind of cool design. See what's going on there. You just have to put it back together. And then this will go around here and our uh, fuse cap end just goes like that. And yeah, it seems to work pretty well. All right guys, so you can see we have our panels sitting out just for this quick test, just getting some partial sunlight. We have our cable with our MC4 connectors going to our 12 volt plug. You can see that the green light is lit up so we are definitely getting power. We have our 12 volt socket and then bam, we're getting photovoltaic power now. All right, right on guys, yeah. Overall, uh, as usual, I'm pretty pleased. I think this worked out really well. Yeah, reusing these MC4 connectors was great. And then from now on, all I'll have to do is wrap my cord up in the back of my solar panel and then plug it in and I'm good to go. Yeah, pretty awesome. Before I had to pop the hood and uh, attach a couple of alligator clips to my positive and negative battery terminals and that wasn't a huge hassle, but uh, yeah. I'm all about making things just a little bit easier. And then another thing that I really like about where I put my charge controller is you can see, whoop, if you can get down in there, I can actually see where the light is for my charge controller. So I can easily tell if I'm getting power or not. I think that's pretty cool. I didn't even plan on that, but it worked out really well. Well, all right. Yeah, like I said, guys, overall, I'm pretty pleased. I think this is gonna be a really great setup. I think it's gonna be really convenient. Well, as always, I uh, hope you guys find this video useful. It's not exactly, uh, you know, something that I would normally be doing, but I thought it was a cool project, and, you know, I just like making things a little bit easier whenever I can. All right, guys, well, like I said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get updates about my new content. And as always, feel free to subscribe. All right, you guys take it easy.